Hey what's up everyone it's Ardwell Geek and welcome back to my another video. Today I am gonna compare two of the best 6 core desktop CPUs in the market right now. One of them is the latest Elder Lake Intel Core i5 12400F CPU and the other one is the last year's AMD Ryzen 5 5600X CPU based on Gen 3 architecture. But before moving further, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you won't miss any of my future videos. So let's get started. For the specs, both of the CPUs comes with 6 cores and 12 threads, with Intel one coming with only 6 performance cores and no efficiency cores. Unlike the most Elder Lake CPUs that utilizes the hybrid architecture of efficiency and performance cores, similar to the ARM chips. Moving forward, we can see that the AMD has an upper hand when it comes to clock speed and L3 cache. But in L2 cache and memory support, Intel have slight edge due to more L2 cache and DDR5 48MHz memory support. For the pricings, Intel is priced around 17K INR or 220 US dollars and on the other hand AMD is priced a little higher at 23k INR or 298 US dollars. Now before we jump into the benchmarks, let's go over the test system specs. Both of these CPUs were tested on the same system and corresponding motherboards. The 5600X was tested on the MSI Mag B550 Tomahawk while the 12th gen i5 12400F on MSI Mag B660 Tomahawk. All configs were tested with the Radeon RX 6900 XT. 32 gigs of DDR4 3200 MHz CL14 memory and a Corsair H150i Pro 360mm AIO liquid cooler. Starting with the Cinebench R23 multi-core results, we find that the 12400F is a good for just over 12,000 points and when following the 65W specs, it was just 3% slower. That being the case, it's incredible to see the base spec 12400F beating the 5600X by 9%, which doesn't port particularly well for AMD. The single core performance was also very mighty and this of course explains how 12400F beats the 5600X. Here we are looking at a 12% improvement in performance. Moving on to 7-zip, the 12400F is less impressive though it manages to slightly edge out the 11600K. That in itself is a good result but when compared to 5600X, it was 12% slower. Though given the difference in price, that remains a good result for Core i5. Unfortunately, it doesn't fare nearly as well as for decompression test as the 12400F was slower than the 11600K by a 12% margin and almost 30% slower than the 5600X. The Core i5 12400F was a good for a score of 667 points when running without power limits in Adobe Premiere Pro benchmark. That meant it was able to match the 8 core 16 thread 10 700K while beating the 5600X by 8% margin. Then, when power limited to 65W spec, it matched the 5600X making it 8% slower than the unleashed configuration. Adobe Photoshop is under core heavy application, so both i5 12400F configurations delivered virtually the same results. That means no matter which way slice it, the logged core i5 is as powerful as the 5600X. The 12600K on the other hand is clocked at 11% higher and consequently was 11% faster in this test. In After Effects, the 12400F was only 2% faster with power limit removed. That made it 7% faster than the 5600X and 6% faster than the previous generation 11600K. The Corona benchmark sees the 12400F delivering exceptional level of performance, beating the 11600K and 5600X. Taking 170 seconds to complete the workload meant it was 9% faster 5600X despite being 26% slower than the 12600K. When it comes to code compilation performance, the 12400F is a beast, completing our test in 607 seconds, making it 24% faster than the 5600X and 13% faster than the 11600K. The last application we are going to look at it is Blender, where 12400F was just able to edge out the 5600X while matching the 11600K. That's as good as 6 core 12 thread performance gets in this application. Now it's time for semi gaming benchmarks. We have Rainbow Six C's, and here the 12400F was slightly faster than the 11700K, 10700K, and 3700X, making it just 8% slower than the 12600K. That does make it quite a bit slower than 5600X, to the tune of 17% or 19% slower 
if we compare the 1% low figures. Still overall, we are seeing a strong performance from 12400F, an excellent result in terms of cost per frame. The Watchdog's Legion data is more competitive in the relation to the more expensive 5600X. The i5-12400F was less than 3% slower, which is basically the same level of performance and the same is also true when comparing with the 12600K and 11700K. So a strong result for the locked core i5 processor in this game. The i5-12400 performs much better in Far Cry 6, at least when compared to the 5600X as it was up to 10% faster beating even the 5800X and 11700K. The Horizon Zero Dawn's results aren't that favorable for 12400F. That said, it's worth mentioning that if we were able to use the ultimate quality setting, the game is entirely GPU limited and this normalizes CPU performance. Seeing the 5600X and 12400F matched, even with the 6900 XT at 1080p. But with dialed down favor quality visual presets, the game becomes more CPU limited in our test condition and this saw the 5600X up to 21% faster with the 12600K up to 7% faster. Last up we have Cyberpunk 2077 and this game is mostly GPU bound, even with the slightest dialed down quality settings that we are using here. When compared to the 5600X, the i5-12400F was on average 6% slower and 8% slower than 12600K. Given the cost savings on offer, that makes the 12400F an exceptional good deal for gamers. Now moving to power consumption. The big improvement when compared to the 11th gen though is the power consumption. For the same level of performance, the core i5-12400F reduced total system consumption by 28%. And that's total system power consumption, not just the CPU power. The savings are truly massive and it placed Adler Lake roughly on the par with Zen 3 for this comparison. The 12400F is very economical indeed, using 20W less than 5600X for the same level of performance in Cyberpunk. It also reduced total system usage while gaming by 8% when compared to the previous generation core i5-11600K. In our look at the 10 game average, you can see the core i5-12400F without power limits and all-in-one liquid cooler isn't much faster than the 65W spec using the box cooler. We are talking about less than 2% difference on average. That's how the core i5-12400 performs versus the 5600X. The 12400F is 17% faster than the 5600X on average and 14% faster than the 11400F. Personally, I think 12400F is a really solid 6-core CPU when it comes to the application that I tested here. But for gaming, the 5600X is in the lead. But there is one thing you should keep in mind, that if you want to go with the 5600X and the max upgrade you will be able to do in future is the 16-core 5950X, cause the next gen AMD 6000 series is based on Zen 4 architecture that requires the newer AM5 socket motherboard unlike the AM4 socket for 5000 and older series. Now, if you want to buy any of these processors, you can find the best buying links in the description box below. You can check them out. There are also links for the components used in this test as well as list for the compatible motherboards. So this will do for the video. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video and make sure you do subscribe the channel. See you here another time, till then goodbye.